dear friends from Europe, from Poland, from across the world, and especially dear friends from the village of Zhuravlov. Dear Mr. Tusk, are you really serious in pretending that coal is the future of Poland? Dear Mr. Tusk, are you really, really serious about these crazy shell gas plans? I can't believe it. I spent two days in Warsaw this week. I met the people from Zhuravlov. I met the people from Katowice. I met the people from Krakow. Yes, and what they told me is right the opposite of what Mr. Tusk is telling the people coming from all over the world to Warsaw. But we have to address this evening not only the government of Poland. We have also to look a little bit west. In Berlin, there are the coalition talks in between social democrats and conservatives. And they are as crazy that they are now discussing to weaken uh, the targets, the CO2 reduction targets, below 40% for 2030. We have also to look to Japan. We have also to look to Australia. We have too many signals from too many governments around the world that they, are don't, that they don't take serious the climate talks which take place right now here. Somebody said it already. We have still two years to go from here in Warsaw to Paris. And so what I liked very much during these last days was that citizens from all over the world reconnected, reconnected really here in Warsaw. I see one of the tasks of the European Greens to help this connection. Uh, in Europe, we have to start to do it better in bridging the gaps in between the East and the West. The ecological movement, the climate movement, all those who are represented here by you, they can win in this battle only if we are bridging those gaps. So, Thank you for all the people who came by train from Brussels. Thank you. I fear, I fear, to be honest, this was not uh, the last time you had to travel a long way to help a better world, a better climate, and uh, better perspectives for everybody on the globe. So thank you and let's continue.